welcome to the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Museum. One of the most iconic locations you can find in the motherland and of course the final resting place of the man, the meat and of course the legend of Sajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. My name is Nanayao Asari Buoma. You can call me MC Tegwa or better still the Thunder Voice. Come with me on an amazing and of course a magical journey as we discover his contributions and the big role he played in helping Ghana to gain its independence and also establishing a beautiful economy. Guys, look at this beautiful Cadillac Escalade on this plate behind me. It was driven by the late Osajipu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah um, during his term in office as the President of the Republic of Ghana. You need to see this beauty with your own eyes. Upon reaching here, I can only imagine uh, the President driving in this beautiful Cadillac and waving at the beautiful people of the motherland. You need to come here and experience this for yourself. You need to catch a glimpse of this beautiful, beautiful piece of steel sitting right here at the center and of course on display. Behind me are statues that max our tradition as Ghanaians. Now, it is said that the purpose of the horn blowers is to usher us into a new era of freedom from European colonialism. That is what they symbolize. So they actually usher everybody that comes into the center into an era or a state of mind that symbolizes freedom from European colonialism. Sajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah is celebrated here for many achievements attributed to his name. Amongst them include the construction of the Tema Motorway. He also contributed immensely in our financial sector by setting up the Bank of Ghana and also the Agricultural Development Bank among others. So right behind me is uh, the entrance to the museum itself where we have uh, belongings of uh, the late Osaji for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah in here. I personally have been there and I have had a beautiful encounter. It is obvious to say that the spirit of the great man still lives in there. Um, they are belongings of the man and I have actually seen from um, suits that he wore. Um, I have seen the mattress that he slept on whilst in college in the United States and a couple of personal belongings. He also has pictures of his families and his journeys and, and everything um, with regard to him has been documented and of course put in picture forms and also written forms for your display. It is also good to say that you and your family should come through and of course experience this for yourselves. On display behind me is the old statue of Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah which stood in front of the old parliament house but unfortunately it was vandalized or attacked by a mob and uh, the head was detached but a new one has been sculptured and beautifully displayed in front of the museum or the center upon your arrival you will definitely enjoy the view of the new one but still get to see the old one displayed here wow how can such a great man be forgotten no wonder his name is still on our lips and in our hearts. 